Hi, I'm Michael, and this is the Mesa Tribase, the new synth controller. I'm going to be doing some video tutorials uh, to show you guys how to use it and the sort of stuff we've been experimenting with. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is a really simple tutorial just to get you guys familiar with Ableton. I know some people out there haven't used it before. So this video is just going to be the absolute basics. It's going to show you how you can load up a synthesizer into Ableton and how to get it to respond to the Tribase. The only assumption I'm making is that you've set up your MIDI interface to work with Ableton. If you've done that, then your screen, when you start Ableton, should look like this. I'll start by moving to the Arrangement view by pressing that button there. And you can see there's an audio track and a MIDI track. Since we'll be using a MIDI synthesizer, it makes sense that that's going to go into a MIDI track. So. Moving to the left, you can see that we have a bunch of devices here we can use. If we open up the instruments category, we're going to choose a synthesizer called Operator. And if you expand Operator, you can see a bunch of sound categories. We're going to choose a synth pad. And the preset we'll use is called Fat Synth. And it's really quite easy, you just need to click it and drag across to the MIDI track like that. And done, it's loaded. So it's loaded into a MIDI track. Now you can see it at the bottom of the screen. There's one more thing that you need to do to get this track to be controlled by the tri bass. Basically, you press the in button. Okay. Yeah, all that's doing is it's telling the MIDI track to listen to any MIDI controllers any channel. So now you should be able to play the tri-bass.